Now we're going to talk about how we can talk about the distribution of a data set based on its frequency table or how to tell the shape from the distribution table. So in this class we're going to talk a lot about normal distributions. Normal distributions are also known as a bell curve. And when we graph it, it will look something like this. So the two important features to know about a normal distribution is that the frequencies start low and then they increase um, to higher frequencies and then they decrease to a low frequency again. And the distribution is approximately symmetric. So that means going up, it goes up to the middle and then comes back down in the same way or very similarly. So when you have a frequency table, something that's approximately normal, so you'd have your intervals over here, whatever they are. And let's say it would start low, so maybe it would start something like two, then go up higher. So five, eight, so maybe nine's the highest. Then it would come down in a similar way. So, you know, like maybe we could say seven, four, one. So they might not match up exactly, but they would go up to a high point and then come down. And if we graphed these values, they would start low, go up, and then come down in the same way. Now, many distributions will not be normal meaning the we could have high values at the beginning and go down to low values or we could start high and go down so skewed left is when we start low and then we go high so if we had a table remember you'd have your intervals over here whatever they are you could start like you know two three five and then you know get big. So with the skewed left and skewed right, it, notice that the tail is going to the left. So we talk about which side the tail is on, kind of the lower part. Skewed right is going to start high and then go low. So the tail is going to the right. So a table here could look something where you have your bigger values first and then they go down. And uniform means it's really staying the same level the whole time. So our frequencies in a uniform distribution would all be the same number, whatever that is. So for example, they could all be five. Okay, so we're gonna talk more about normal distributions um, later in the course. Um, but one thing to just kind of talk about in your real life is sometimes students say they wish things were graded on a curve. Well, in a true curve, your distribution of grades would look like a bell curve. And then most number of grades would be exactly in the middle would be a C. And then only a few students would get an A and a few students would get an F. And the exact same number of students would get an A and an F. The exact names, number, same number of students would get a B and a D. So in many ways, it's not advantageous for a class um, for it to be graded on a true curve, because then you would have to guarantee that so many students get D's or F's. 